Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. With me as always is Mabel, and today we are going to talk about <laughs> blow drying your dog and how to keep them calm while doing it. You ready? Let's get started. One of the things I like to use in the bathtub is a loofah. This works great to help suds up the dog and get rid of any dirt and debris. So feel free to use that tip at home if you want to. So you've got your uh, dog all bathed and do a really good towel dry. And now tip number one is I'm gonna put them up on an elevated surface. Uh, that helps change their brain and make them feel a little more calm. And then you also want to use cotton balls, like pack your ears and also pack their ears. There's also a thing called a happy hoodie, which is a stretchy sock-like thing that you can stretch and put around their head and ears. And that just helps muffle the sound, makes them feel a little bit more comfortable with what's going on. The other thing I like to do is take their towel and wrap it around their shoulders like that. And then you always want to make sure to start at the rear of the dog. And I'm gonna keep that towel wrapped around her shoulders for the entire time that I'm doing her rear end and her back feet. And again, that's just something that makes them think about something else. You can use a lick mat, which is a sticky mat that you can put on your wall and put peanut butter in. I know that that helps a lot of dogs. Again, just getting their mind on something else. And uh, something else that's really great about blow drying your dog at home is that you get to really get a good look at their skin. You can see if they have ticks, you can see if they have any lumps or bumps or red marks that maybe need to get looked at. And also you can see any matting that you may have missed whenever you did your brush out. Of course, I always recommend doing a good brush out before you get a dog wet. Once a mat gets wet, it is harder to remove. When you're doing their head, see how far away I am? I am like a good two feet away from her head and face. And that again is just gonna make her feel more calm with the entire drying process. Some dogs don't like their heads dried at all. Just don't do it. I mean, I always think it's funny that they stick their head out the window when you're driving down the highway, but doesn't like the blow dryer on their head, right? So here I am using a brush with the blow dryer and you can see I've taken the nozzle off the end of the blow dryer. That's just to make the pressure even less. Less air coming out makes her feel more confident. When you brush and blow like this, that's when you really get all those curls straightened out and their floof looks super duper floofy. This is the longest I'd ever left her. Look how floofy that face is. It's so full. Here is the blow dryer that I got off of Amazon. I really like it. It is a tiny little thing at just 10 inches by 10 inches. The hose really works well and attaches securely. It has a couple different items that I really like. You can turn this from a very low pressure up to very high, and you can also use just cool air or you can switch on a heated air too, but it's not too hot. Here I'm kind of going over, they have three different nozzles that they send along. The one that I'm about to show you right here is my favorite. It creates a nice flat air, the one on the left, flat, wide, air comes out of there and that really straightens the coat nicely. Um, I don't really use the other two, but they're good to have around. This just attaches on here super securely and I really like the way that these fit on this blow dryer. I got this off of Amazon. It came with all three nozzles. As you can see here, it was $176. I'll make sure to link it in the description. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps you guys out. As always, we'll see you next time.